What's up guys, Randy here once again, and I have great news. You guys have, have been asking me for it, and here it is. The Fitbit HR. Now, that's fancy for Fitbit heart rate, which basically means that it tracks your heart rate all day. It's a great fitness tracker. Uh, it tracks your workouts, your steps, your calories. Uh, tracks your sleep when you go to sleep with it. Uh, it syncs wirelessly with your app. You know, you just got to open it and it goes right in. Now, besides the fact that it syncs wirelessly with your app, the app itself is really, really nice. And this is one of the big things about Fitbit. Um, it's very rare that you see, uh, you know, an app for any of these fitness trackers that is even worth having or it's nice to play with. And this is actually one of them. Um, something else I want to point out, guys, is that the Fitbit HR is not waterproof. That means you cannot jump in the shower with it, okay? Now, that's a downfall for me because I don't want to have to remove anything from my wrist to jump in the shower. So that was a big downfall. Uh, the second thing that, you know, breaks it for me is that it does not pair with a chest strap. And why is that important? If you want to know your heart rate um, very accurately, that is the only way to really know, you know, your accurate uh, beats per minute. Now, I have done the testing and I've compared the heart rate on the HR with my Fitbit, I'm sorry, with my Vivo Fit 2, which actually pairs with the chest strap, and it's off by 40 beats per minute. Now, that is a lot, okay? So, if you're looking for something that's, you know, that's very accurate as far as your heart rate and stuff like that, it, this is not the one for you. This is very accurate with the heart rate when it comes down to, you know, regular life okay like right now i can check the heart rate on this and it's going to be pretty accurate which i'll do that for you now it says that my uh heart rate is 91 okay and i i can see that um but see if i was to start running or lifting weights or doing anything excessive it would be off completely i my heart rate could be 150 and it says i'm 110 or even 90 beats per minute and so i don't recommend it as your you know like a heart rate monitor okay it's it's more of a heart rate monitor for your daily life so it's actually better if you want to know uh, like your resting heart rate in the mornings or you just want to know the most accurate uh, calorie burning for the day because it actually knows your heart rate all right so that's where you know some of the downfalls that the Fitbit HR does have as far as how it feels very very comfortable all right i couldn't even come up with anything to be wrong with the way it feels it doesn't pull on my arm hairs it doesn't uh, hurt my skin it doesn't do anything uncomfortable i can sleep with it i've actually been sleeping with it for a couple of days doesn't hurt and uh the tracking for the sleep is actually not bad but it's not too in detail but it gives you you know it tells you when you went to sleep when you woke up and you know how many times you you know, had a light sleep or were in deep sleep, okay? Um, again, biggest things for you, I'm sure, it's not waterproof, it doesn't pair with a chest strap. With that being said, if you're still in the market for a fitness tracker uh, that, you know, that's more accurate with the heart rate, I recommend something like the Polars or even the Beeple Fit 2 from Garmin. Uh, actually, I don't have it on my wrist now. <laughs> but um, it's... Uh, it's definitely the more accurate way to go. And uh, if that doesn't matter to you so much, this is definitely a good choice minus the waterproof part. If you don't you know, mind taking it off, jump in the shower, this is the one for you. Um, minus those two things, guys. If you're okay with that, psh, there's nothing more to talk about. It looks great. It feels great. And uh, out of all the ones I've actually owned, which is a lot of them, this one, I think, is one of the best-looking uh, fitness trackers out there. Just the way it looks, you know, it's it's very comfortable. It has the watch um, handle thing, and uh, it just it's very pleasing to the eye, and, and it looks nice on your arm. Okay, and that's the review for the Fitbit HR. If you're in the market for it, now you know what's good, what's not. And uh, hopefully that helps you guys. If you have any questions or comments, leave them below and I will do my best to answer them. Thank you for watching.